Welcome to Scratch 3. Scratch is a programming language which allows us to create and make all sorts of interesting things that will work on our computer. So let's have a look first at Scratch. Scratch has what is called sprites, which are little pictures. You can see when I'm moving it around on the screen at the moment. Okay, and we can um, we can create our own sprites um, or we can go and choose sprites that are already made. Here's me choosing a ballerina and popping it into there as well. You can see that we can rename it by typing into the sprite area here. We can change the direction it travels in and we can also change how big it is just by typing in a different number inside here. So 150% in this case. We can hide it or we can show it just from the little panel there. Uh, you can, of course, also paint your own sprite. You can have a surprise one if you don't really want to choose. And you can upload your own sprite from a file, picture file that you've got, that you've already created. Or um, one that you've downloaded specially for that purpose. There's also a stage area. Now, this stage area is here on the right hand side and you can see the cat and the ballerina are on the stage at the moment. Um, we can also import um, or choose a backdrop. Here we go, let's go and choose a backdrop. Let's put them in the Arctic. And if you look at the backdrops tab here, you can see that we can go and change and have different backdrops. You can have more than one if you like. Okay, can you see the choose a backdrop there as well? Okay, let's go and choose a different one, a beach one, and we can flip them out between different backdrops as well. Okay, um, when we're on a sprite or when we're on the backdrop, we can actually do some programming as well. So I'm going to go into the ballerina here and I'm going to look for some starting blocks. Now there are lots of different colored coding blocks on the left hand side here and you can click on the colors to bring them up or you can scroll up and down to find them if you like. And the ones I'm looking for at the moment are the starting blocks, which are in the event section. Notice that they are all have a little curved top to them. Okay, so let's have a little look at those. And uh, so we've got the when green flag is clicked. Can you see there's a green flag at the top? That means that when every uh, block that has got a green flag click, they'll all be started at the same time when I click that green flag at the top. If I want to get rid of a block, I just drag it and drop it back over there. My next favourite one is the keys on the keyboard. We can make different keys like the W key here do something when it's pressed. We call these keyboard inputs because they put in information. I'm going to get rid of that one. And then we've also got this when this sprite is clicked, which means it'll work when I click the sprite over here. At the moment I'm clicking it, but I've not got any programming blocks that it does. So let's go to motion. Let's drag out and move 10 steps, which is not 10 people steps, but it's 10 tiny little pixels on the screen. And here we go. When I click that, can you see? It highlights yellow and it also moves our ballet dancer across. Okay, so that's a first bit of programming. I could also click on the actual sprite or I can click on the sprite itself or the blocks itself to make things move. Okay, there are some extra special blocks you can also find from down the bottom here on add extension and probably the most useful ones are things like the music or the pen blocks. Okay, so you can make it play different things like this snare drum. Okay, a programming basically works from going from the top to the bottom as a block at a time. So that's, um, but it's a little bit more complicated, but, that, but that's the basics. Right, I hope you enjoy creating and making all sorts of fun things using Scratch 3.